everyone and welcome back to my channel turn ups to tangerines and today we are going to be talking about paradise dried fruit i have been working with this company for well over oh i'd say five or six years um i took a year off in between there right around covid when everybody was in lockdown um they couldn't send anything out so um I kind of took a break there and then I think it went into another year so I guess all together I've been working with them for four years about six years in you know total um, I took like I said the one year off for the COVID and then I think I took off the following year also just because I needed a you know a break sometimes you need to a break to come up with some new recipes um, and that's what I do for them I develop different types of recipes using their dried fruit products which I highly recommend I love them um, this is the box they send me each year when I want to you know get back into it I contacted them and they sent this within a couple oh I'd say a, a week or two and um, I thought I'd go through this with you and I'll show you kind of what I all get from them um, like I said um, I have a lot of different recipes on my blog um, not so much here on YouTube so I guess I haven't um, been working with them for like I said probably two years now in a row almost so um, but on my blog if you go to www.turnupstotangerines and um, put in uh, look under paradise fruit recipes um, you'll find a whole bunch of them I've made I mean, I don't even know all the recipes I've made using the dried fruit. It's been quite a few. <laughs> so, um, you know, check it out. I usually like to start using this this time of year. Uh, I tend to associate the dried fruit with the holiday season. So I usually like to do most of my uh, holiday recipes and my holiday baking using this fruit. And um, that's when I usually, you know, start off with the recipes that's, I mean, you don't have to. A lot of people, you know, use it all year round. But for me, I don't know, I just associate the two with, uh, you know, holiday breads and brownies and things like that. Cookies and scones and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I, I usually get my box. I... If I'm going to, you know, get do it that year, I will contact them. They'll send me my box. I like to get it around, like I said, September, so I can start working on it right away. So, and they're all tropical pineapple. I'll go through these and show you all these at the end. Um, we have uh, citru citrine, citron, whatever that is, which I do believe is... Um, like lemon, lime, lemon, lime, it's lime, and that I like to make like uh, key lime bars with, and there are so many different fun things you can make, and you know, they're good, and like I said, I enjoy it, and this is going to be the pineapple, this is one, probably one of my favorite mixes ever, and as you can see, they're quite large, or this batch is, this is the Old English, and I really like that. I've made a lot of, like, stolen, um, you know, fruitcake scones, fruitcake cookies. It's really good. And we got the orange peel here. Once I clean all this up. And like I said, I've been doing this for several years now. They contacted me several years ago. And there's really not, you know, they're not a, a big pressure place. You want to do it that's fine if you don't want to that's fine also and that's what I like working with them because sometimes like I said you just life doesn't always allow you to do things you know if you don't have time and all my recipes that I've made for them are on their website which is um let me make sure I get this right because sometimes I don't it's www.paradise p-a-r-a D-I-S-E fruit C-O dot com and you'll hopefully they're still on there. This must be new. I don't think I ever got the line the um the lemon line before for some reason. I thought I just got one or the other. 
and the orange, of course. I've made orange and chocolate cookies and all kinds of fun stuff. There's another holiday of red cherries. And we have, oh, another fancy fruit, which is another fruitcake mix, which is really nice. And they're all really, really flavorful. And it's just dried fruits. And then it's like a the glaze. We call that, you know, G L A C E, Place, or whatever you want to call it <laughs> in French, I guess. And um, they have that. And the cherry pineapple mix is real good, too. I have made um, fudge with this many times. Many different kind of fudge. I made a uh, cherry lime fudge one time. Uh, I think one year I made all fudge, actually. I used all the fudge with every one of them. You know. And, like I said, sometimes you need a break just to come up with different things to come up with after a while. And I made... In fact, now that I think about it, I think this is my little cup sign here. Right there. I think that's mine. Right there. So, there we go. A lot of people didn't know that I did I did this kind of thing, and but I do. I mean, I don't be a little different now because now I have the YouTube channel, and I think that'll be kind of interesting because now I can show you make these you know on a regular basis different things to make with it. Um, the dried um, fruits besides you know just fruit cakes and things like that. I'm gonna move that out of the way, and then I will. Put you just, oh, that should be good here. Let's get you a little closer here so we can see what we're doing. And usually we get about, I get about two of each. Uh, two um, containers of each. And the first container that I have here is my, the holiday fruit. It's a green cherries. It's just your, like your marshino cherries. Oh, only green. And I got two of these. Two, two, two. Here's one. Well, oh. and here's one. And here's one. I'll set that down. And then I got. Oh. Cherry pineapple. Tropical pineapple. Let's swirl you around. And there's my container of tropical pineapple. And these are eight ounce containers. So a lot of the recipes that I make, a lot of the recipes I make don't even call for a whole container. So you can, you know, a lot of them only call for like maybe a third of a cup, a quarter of a cup. A lot of it, um, like, uh, you know, and then it's minced. So you have to mince these even smaller than what it is. So sometimes out of one of these containers, you can make two to three different kind of uh, desserts or breads or muffins or scones or whichever, whatever you want to make. And here is the other one I have. So I have two of these, and that's a tri tropical pineapple. And then I have my the ginger that I really love, crystallized ginger. I think everybody does. It's really good. I made a triple ginger cookie using their product and uh, that was really good those were good and here's this one and the crystallized ginger goes good with pine or uh, pumpkin or like I said ginger cookies ginger bread uh, pumpkin bread pumpkin cookies pumpkin muffins you name it it goes good with just about anything I think so that is the crystallized ginger and that's two containers of that and then I have, looks like I only have one orange peel, which is fine. Because, um, like I said, these are really small here, too. And uh, so that's one orange. And it looks like I have one orange and I have one oh, lemon peel. And the lemon peel is 8 ounce also. These are all 8 ounce, like I said. And if you, you know, like I said, if you want to learn more about um, the Paradise Fruit Company, look them up on the 
website and see exactly what they're all about. I know a lot of people associate, you know, this kind of thing with, you know, their grandmothers and things like that. But it's really, you know, dried food has come a long way. And you can do a lot of things with them. Like I said, these are whole cherries. The cherries are here. So, um, you know, like I said, some recipes call for chopped cherries. So you, you know, chop them up. And a lot, like I said, you can get two good, good recipes out of each container on a lot of these. So... And uh, that's the red, the red cherries, which I have made several yummy things with both, with the red cherries and green cherries. Um, and their brownies and brownie cups are good for that. And I'll just set that there. And let me see what the next one I got. Pineapple is assorted pineapple, which I do like the pineapple. And that's always nice to have. And I received two of these. And that comes in, oh, well, get it back over here. That comes a pineapple assorted colors. And they're, see how big and nice and big those chunks are? If you can see that, I'm not sure if you can real well, but you know, the, they are rather large chunks of pineapple. I mean, they're not small little wimpy, well, little bitty pieces here. They are nice, some nice big sizes. So you can, like I said, double your recipe up and use a whole container or not. And each little um, top on here, label on your little container has a recipe. Um, this particular one is for pineapple cinnamon rolls. And then it has a recipe for, if you turn it over here, it has a recipe for the pineapple rice crispy treats right there which everybody know loves that and they also give you a a coupon for 50 uh, 50 cents off any two paradise holiday fruit products and that's good through um, the end of December 2022 and that is for the tropical or the pineapple assortment which I have also I have two of those and that is um, let's see see how big those pieces are yep I don't think I can get any closer than that well maybe there you go yeah there we go set you down and then we have the cherry pineapple mix, which is also on one that I really, really liked. It's just cherries and the pineapple mixed together. And uh, it makes good breads and cookies and all that kind of stuff. So mainly I use the holiday fruit for baking. I have used it a couple times. Oh, um, something else. I think I added it. Oh. To a marinade maybe or something like I said I this I haven't done this for so long now I forgot some of it so that'll be good you know because then it can kind of refresh my memory here well trying to get this up this is cherry this bread this calls for their or this recipe on here is for cherry pineapple blondies which would really be nice on that and on the back we have a cherry pineapple cake recipe and like I said these all these recipes are from other um, people like me that you know develop recipes for um, paradise fruit and I will set that aside and that is for the cherry what is that cherry pineapple mix so that's also this one and then we have our tropical pineapple which is just basically your regular looking pineapple here. And those are really nice too. So if you can see that, it's really, like I said, I'm glad I decided to go and do it again this year. It's been a while, but like I said, there was a couple years in here, we had the puppy and then the following year we got another puppy. And you know, it was just kind of like, oh, you know, and we always seem to get puppies right around the holidays or Christmas time when, 
you know, you got to try to train them. So let's, I just needed a little break there. So no big deal. And there was tropical pineapple. And then, like I said, here is this. I know I'm not saying this right. Citrine, citron, citrine, citrine, something like that. I do think it's like a. Looks like a lime, lemon, lime type thing. I don't think I ever got one of these. I wonder if this is a new product that they're that they're offering. I mean, maybe not, but I don't remember ever getting this before. So I'm kind of anxious to try that. And then, of course, like I said, we have my favorites here, which are the fancy, extra fancy fruit cake mix. You don't have to use it for fruit cake. I've used it for fruit cake. I've used it for scones, cookies, you name it. And the thing of it is, is with the um, fruit cake mix, this one, the cherries are left whole. So, oh, there was my finger now. Hmm. Well, no, oh well. No time of year. And um, this, I do believe right here, I believe on here, that is my fudge. If I'm not mistaken, it was my um, my fruit cake fudge. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. So that's always been fun, but that's a nice mix there too. If you want to even go to the store, if you want to try any of these products, I would probably give this one a try first, or the Old English, just because you know you get um, these are. Um, a 16 ounce container so you can make a lot you could probably make three two or three out of here breads or cheese or cheese why am i saying cheesecake but you could put that in cheesecake too that might be good too there you go that's an option give that a try there you go okay well now i'm starting to think already see that's good to keep your mind going when you're older like me so anyway, here we go, and this is called the Paradise Holiday Fruit, Old English Fruit and Peel Mix. So this, you get a little bit of the, um, like, lemon peel, you get a little bit of a cherry mix and pineapple mix, you get a little bit of, you know, all of it. And that's why I like this one. It's just a little bit more versatile, so if you're not going to, you know, if you want to try it and you're not thinking, oh, I don't want to just buy lemon peel, I would try one of these two here just to see, you know, if you like it or how, what you come up with, something like that, and just to see, I'm going to just, I'm curious to see here if this is my recipe. <laughs> just want to take a peek here. Oh, there we go. Separated milk, butter, yep, that looks like it, yep, white, yep, I do believe that's it. There we go, I got one right on the front cover. That's from a couple years ago, that was good too. 